morning. Thanks for coming this morning. Uh, we've got something to share with you that we're pretty excited about. And that is iPhone OS 4. We've been working on this for a while. It's pretty great. And we're going to ship it this summer. And we're going to release a developer preview today. So let's get into it. iPhone OS 4 delivers over 1,500 new APIs to developers. A lot of stuff that developers have been asking for. Developers can now access the calendar, the photo library. They have full access to still and video camera data. Quick look. They can put SMS inside their apps. We are releasing our automated testing tools, the same tools we use to test our apps to our developers, so they can test their apps with them. And we're releasing a framework called Accelerate, which is in itself, actually, we don't count these APIs in the 1500, over 2,000 APIs for hardware accelerated math functions. So if their application is heavy into math, they can really take advantage of this. And these are just a few, just a few of the over 1,500 APIs. There's over 100 new user features. And again, here's just a few of them. Users can now create playlists on their phone. We've added a 5x digital zoom in the camera app. You know how you can tap to focus when you're taking a still picture? You can now tap to focus on video. Every iPhone Every, every photo taken on the iPhone is geotagged, and we've added places in the photo app now so you can see where they were taken. You can change the home screen wallpaper. It's been a huge request that we've gotten. Uh, you can use Bluetooth keyboards. And uh, we've added a spell checker, which is really nice. If you misspell a word, it'll underline it. You just tap it, and it'll give you the rec what it thinks might, uh, what you might have wanted to type. You can uh, gift apps. This has been a big request, too. So you can buy an app and gift it to somebody right from your phone. Now, of those, we're going to talk about seven today. And that is multitasking. Double click the Home button. And the window raises up, and it shows me all the apps that are running. These are all the apps that are running. And I want to go back to Mail. And I go right back to where I left it. But how do we do it? And these are our seven services for multitasking. They are very, very deep and provide a lot of power for developers to add multitasking to their apps. So our second tent pull. This is one where we've also gotten a lot of requests. Folders. So what I do is I just push my finger on an app, just like I do to move it. They start to jiggle, and I just drag one app on top of another and it instantly makes a folder, right? Now let's go to tent pole number three. Tent pole number three is an enhanced mail. Well, there's lots more, but the biggest ones are the unified inbox with multiple exchange accounts, fast inbox switching, threaded messages, and you can open attachments with apps. Let's go to number four. For iPhone OS 4, we are adding iBooks. Now I'd like to turn it back over to Scott for tentpole number five. Thanks, Steve. All right, so our fifth tentpole are some great features for enterprise. So some great enterprise features in iPhone OS 4. And that is our fifth tentpole. Our sixth tentpole is Game Center. So Game Center, it's a social networking game, ga uh, social gaming network, where you can invite your friends, match make, compare yourself with leaderboards, and achievements. It's a preview in iPhone OS 4, and it'll be available for everyone later this year. And that is Game Center. Our seventh tent pole is called iAd. It's mobile advertising. We're building it right in to iPhone OS 4. So you click on the, on, the, on the banner, and we take over the screen. The ad takes over the screen, comes down with animation. All this stuff is done in HTML5, by the way. Okay. <laughs> it's really easy to do. 
And uh, you see animation, everything else. Now, you see that X up at the top there? If I just tap on that X, I go immediately back to my app right where I left off. So the user at any time can say, take me back to my app. This disappears, and I'm back in my app. So let's go explore this ad, right? which is really a, kind of a universe here. There's a snake in my boat. You know, so I can listen to the characters. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Golly, Bob, howdy. And I've got some videos here. Again, this is a little HTML5 gizmo that uh, is made available to you know developers, and they can just you know they can make their own stuff like this too. It's real easy. And so I'm going to just pick a video here, and. Uh, hmm. King me. <laughs> right, and of course, if I wanted to, I could uh, just turn this. 90 degrees and watch it this way. All right, I guess I have to say play. Hmm. King me. And again, this is all streamed video right onto the phone. And uh, they've included a game in this ad. And, uh, well, we've included a game in this ad. And, uh, <laughs> So here we go. This is a simple game, and I get to uh, look and see where things are. So that's fine. I'm not very good at these things usually, but I. So there we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is this is good. So. So I've got a game. I've got posters, uh, and I can just tap here and have them as wallpapers. So again, the advertiser can just uh, give me some wallpaper for my phone. And uh, users like free stuff. Um, theaters, if I want to see where uh, the movie's playing, there it is right there. All right? We know our location. There's a theater. And uh, so I've got my location. And there's a Toy Story Mania game that I can buy right in this ad. I don't even have to go to the App Store. The ad can sell me the game right here. And I can push this button, and it'll download right onto my phone. So this is an example. Uh, of a new kind of mobile ad. Have you ever seen an ad like this? <coughs> you know? Anything even close? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. So that is iAd, and that is our seventh tentpole. Let's review. Multitasking, folders, dramatically enhanced mail client, iBooks, much deeper enterprise features, a preview of Game Kit, and iAd. And these are just seven of the over 100 user features and over 1,500 new developer APIs in iPhone 4. We are releasing it to end users for iPhone and iPod Touch this summer. And that's for the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch third generation, that is iPods that we shipped last fall in 32 and 64 gigabyte models. And they will run pretty much everything. And for iPhone 3G and iPod Touch second generation, they will run many things. But there are some things they will not run because the hardware doesn't support them, like multitasking. So iPhone 3 and iPod Touch second generation will not support the multitasking. The hardware just can't do it. But iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch third generation will support everything you've seen today. So summer. And we're bringing iPhone OS 4 to the iPad this fall. All these features on the iPad. So that's iPhone OS 4. And I really want to thank you for coming today. <laughs>